Hi, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Software Testing. My name is Daniel Knott, and I'm happy that you're here today. Today, I would like to talk about a really rather exciting topic, because I really like the topic at all, and I would really like to talk about it and share some insights with you. The topic is how to test blockchain applications. I have to say up front that I'm not a blockchain expert at all. However, I'm following this trend since some while now, since I would say a year or so, and I'm really fascinating with the technology behind blockchain, what this is all about, how it changed our world these days, and what we can have um, in, in the future of a potential topic with blockchain. And basically it all started in 2008, when Satoshi Nakamoto, a pseudonym of a, for a group or a person, we don't know, publishes the Bitcoin paper, a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system. I will make sure that we will see the link description in the link in the description down there and I really highly recommend you to read the paper. It's really difficult and complicated, but it really started a movement around the blockchain technology. And that's important. Since the blockchain becomes more and more important for the technology world, from a software testing point of view, it's special as well. And I would like to make this video, I made this video because I think it's really interesting for our software testing community so that we learn new things to take a look at and what is important to know about blockchain testing. In this video, I'm going to provide an overview. I'm not going into any details of how to test the blockchain or what you should do in, in a really specific way. I'd rather give you an update or an overview on what is a blockchain, what tooling you can use, what's special, what are the advantages, and so forth and so forth. So let's get started with the video and with the detailed slides. So the first question is, what is a blockchain? It's easy, it's a technology. It's not Bitcoin, Ethereum, or any other coin that is out there, no. Blockchain is a new technology, a new trend that is, has been arrived since 2008 when Satoshi Nakamoto released a paper about it. And it was mainly about Bitcoin, but it was really the foundation of blockchain these days. So what is blockchain? A blockchain is a distributed ledger where all kinds of information are um, being stored. It contains a sequence of blocks that are chained together. So there's a block, there's a block, there's a block, like a chain. You can really think of a chain of blocks. And the special thing about it is that each block contains of a hash a hash of the previous block and some data. And that's the really cool part, because if one block is not there anymore, got changed and stuff like that, the hash is not the same and it says, okay, this is not a valid blockchain anymore and the information is lost. I really highly recommend you, if you would like to get some more detailed information about what is a blockchain, to take a look at this video. They offer a really nice explanation on what is a blockchain and what is it all about and where to start from in terms of learning experience. So what else is a blockchain? What is the big benefit of it? It has a built-in security feature such as proof of work, consensus and smart contracts. What this is all about, I highly recommend you to take a look at the mentioned video. I will not go into further details here, but as I said, it has highly built-in security measurements. The, uh, the blockchain is a distributed um, technology, as I already said, amongst nodes with a peer-to-peer -peer connection or P2P network. It has no central authority that is needed to validate the data or the transactions. So let's say, uh, let we go back to the Bitcoin example. You would like to send me some Bitcoin, which you are welcome to do. You can directly send me your Bitcoin to my Bitcoin address and vice versa. I can just enter your, your, your Bitcoin address and I can transfer you some Bitcoin in a, in, a, in a rather some minutes or seconds depending on the on the load of the blockchain. So it doesn't need to have like a central authority that needs to validate the transactions like we have with the banking systems. Another thing what is a blockchain is it's basically it can be used to track on the digital use of assets information in a decentralized way. And also it can be used for peer-to-peer -peer payments, as I already said, with Bitcoin or any other um, um, coins out there that can be used for transactions. So as I said, you can, uh, you can save and you can track any kind of digital assets in there. So what are the advantages then? It's time-saving because transaction times reduces from days to minutes or to just some seconds 
to just send some information on the blockchain or to send it there. It's faster because there is no central authority, as I already said. You don't need to send your, um, your let's go to the, the, this, the example of a bank transfer. You have your bank account, you send some money to another bank account. Yeah, there's like a central authority. They take the money, they check, they do some validations. It takes some time, maybe days, maybe even more days, until the money arrives on the other bank account, depending on the country, depending on the location. And this is the big benefit of a blockchain. It's really time um, saving. It's also cost effective because it has direct, uh, um, direct transactions between the participants. And again, no central authority needed in this case. It has a secure, uh, secure, increased security. It has distributed information because of the uh, distributed ledger. So everyone in the blockchain knows what's written in the blockchain. It has smart contracts and a consensus approach. As I said, please take a look at the video. I'm not going into further details here because it's a really well made video that you should take a look at. So you are here for the following question, right? How to test the blockchain? The good thing is a blockchain application is software. So that's, that's the good part. It's nothing really specific to hardware. Um, it's just, it's, it's software. It's a piece of code that is, that is, that is running. So all our software testing techniques apply also for blockchains. That's the good part. So if you're like really experienced with, let's say, API testing, integration testing, performance testing, load testing, this is all valuable knowledge that you can already use to test the blockchain application. However, the priority is different. The priority and the focus on the tooling is different and on the testing techniques that you should use. Blockchain testing is more technical, so you don't expect a fancy UI that you can click through to in order to check the or to test the blockchain. It's rather a low-level uh, technical uh, testing interface or not interface at all um, that you that you have to to deal with. So if you were, you're not a technical tester, blockchain testing might not be your not be your thing. So how to test the blockchain? Let's go even further. Function testing. That, that applies for blockchain application because, as I said, it's software. So what you can do is you check the implementation, for example, against the requirements, if they are met. Plain acceptance criteria. If they are well written, you can do the functional checks, test against those acceptance criteria, do some exploratory testing, for example, and integration testing or you know, functional testing is, is, is done, is checked. API testing. That's something that is really important for, for blockchain application. Um, we need to ensure that interaction between the applications uh, is, is still working in the blockchain ecosystem, for example. We have to check for the correct behavior. We have to check the requests. We have to check the responses. We can use the known tools that you use for API testing as well for blockchain, which is great. Now we're getting to integration testing. With integration testing, you check that the different components, as we already know from, uh, from, the, from the traditional software testing, work properly with each other. So this is also nothing special here. It's, it's just the, the tech stack that is a bit changing uh, in order to, to do the integration testing. You have also maybe unit tests, for example, in an automated way. You have some integration tests um, that you can run in an automated way, but you can also do some manual integration testing here if you have different um, different systems that you have to integrate or different components. What else? Um, performance, yeah. That's, that's one of the key things that you have to check and to test when you want to do blockchain testing. It's rather, the focus is rather on non-functional testing methods on the blockchain. So you should check the network for, for latency, the network speed. Uh, because there's latency based on the block size, the network size, or the transaction size. And this has a huge impact on the blockchain. If it's too low, the transaction takes too, too much time, or the transaction will be cancelled. Or, um, yeah, that's important. Performance is important also for blockchain applications, but also for other products that we have to test on a daily basis. Security testing. Yeah, as I said, if you let's get back to the, to the Bitcoin example. Uh, if you transfer Bitcoin, and Bitcoin these days have a really high um, um, number of money behind, so it's important that you have to check for security constraints. So, for example, check that the blockchain app is secured against the attacks, that the system can protect the data and can handle malicious attacks. 
Um, if you're not a security expert, I'm not a security expert either. You should get some help by experts that help you in terms of security audits, um, checkups, um, penetration tests, and so whatever. Um, because I think that's really, really important in terms of blockchain application security. And you could also do some smart contract testing, like detailed functional testing of the business logic and the, uh, on the process of a blockchain. So this is really a specific to a blockchain. There are smart contracts that can be implemented um, that have like a contract or business logic in, in, in so-called contracts and that you can tens, uh, test against these smart contract tests as well. Blockchain testing tools. I listed a lot of blockchain testing tools and I will not go into detail of each of the tools. However, if you go to the description of this video, I linked all the tools mentioned on this slide here that you can uh, take a look at um, and to do some further research on each tool. So there is, for example, the Ethereum tester, Ganache, Embark, Corda testing tool, the Hyperledger composer, Truffle, Drizzle, Bitcoin J, Brownie, or Enoxium test kit, all fancy names with, uh, with different um, fields of, um, of interest when, when it comes to blockchain. Also specific uh, testing tools are in there. Take a look at them and then see what's really helpful for you in your blockchain application and in your tool set. Yeah, what kind of challenges um, are in for us as software testers when we want to test blockchain applications? I think one of the biggest challenges that we have to deal with is to understand the technology. Blockchain technology is not an easy thing to grasp, right? If you take a look at the PDF that I mentioned that has been published in 2008, blockchain is really difficult. It's really difficult to understand. There are people out there that are studying the blockchain technology for years and they still haven't fully got what's all in there. So this is something you should keep in mind. The technology behind it is really complicated and can be difficult to understand. Um, challenge number two is the lack of blockchain testing tools. Even though I uh, highlighted many of the testing tools in the previous slide, there's still a lack of testing tools. Blockchain still is in an early stage of, um, of development, even though it's available since 2008, but now it's, it's getting more traction from governments and also from other companies who build things for blockchains and also the, the tools landscape will get better over time. But keep this in mind, they're not yet mature enough to, to maybe cover all the things that you, that you know from, let's say, from a, from a normal software testing tool that you know. Um, the challenge is also to define this test strategy because it has uh, so many different layers of blockchain that you have to keep in mind. Um, it's, you need on-demand or in-demand um, deep, deep knowledge about the blockchain, about the technology and the purpose of your blockchain. This is something really that makes the defining of a test strategy complex. And here I highly recommend uh, to talk to your team, to the developers, product manager, all involved people, uh, what are the critical paths, the critical, uh, the critical sections, and then to focus on them in your test strategy and to see if this, this works out for you. Integration testing is a challenge too, because there are so many multiple components that um, are tied together to have a blockchain. And integration testing is, is a specific challenge here because it, you might need different tools, uh, different setups in order to have a really well integrated system to test the, the blockchain from an end-to-end -end perspective, maybe, or from a different component level. Yeah, I already mentioned it, load and performance testing is really something that is a challenge. If you're not familiar with, the, with those two um, um, testing techniques, um, get, some, get some books, read some blogs on how to do performance testing and load testing, and then see how you can apply this knowledge on the blockchain. Um, last but not least, security testing. I think that uh, should also be like on the, on the number one bullet list here on the challenges. As I said earlier, security testing is key. It's not only key for blockchain, but it's key for all um, software applications that we develop, that we test. And also, um, if you don't have any security knowledge, get help from external experts, because otherwise you, yeah, your blockchain uh, might lose the game. Let's take a look at the summary. So what was this video all about? 
Uh, blockchain is still rather a new technology, even though it's available since 2008. But still, the market is emerging, it's still growing. There are new tools coming out on a, on a monthly basis, let's say. There are so many blockchains and tokens coming out. And this is like will be a really interesting topic the next, uh, the next years. Um, the good thing is that the known testing techniques that you know um, apply also to blockchain, since blockchain is a technology and it's a technology based on software. Um, what we can see here that uh, the non-functional testing methods are more important on the blockchain than the, the, the functional ones, right? So we have security testing, which is important to know. We have the load and performance testing, which is important to know, smart contract testing, where the business knowledge needs to be there and everything like that. So it's all non-functional things that you have to keep in mind when you test against the blockchain. And I already mentioned this before, the, the lack of blockchain testing tools, it's getting better. Um, but please keep in mind, when you take a look at the testing tool and you found a tool, it might work out for you now, but it doesn't mean that it's still useful in a year or even further. Uh, down the road, it might change. And this is something that you have to keep in mind. Blockchain is still a changing environment. So many things are changing, can happen. Um, yeah, I highly recommend you to, to keep up with the, with the technology, subscribe to some of the blockchain channels out there, uh, listen to them, listen to podcasts, read blogs, to stay up to date with the latest technology. And with that, I would say thank you very much for today. Thanks for coming by. Um, if you like the video, it would be really nice if you leave a thumbs up. Also leave me a comment if you have already tested the blockchain. I'm curious to know more how you did it and what kind of obstacles and challenges, challenges you were facing. And if you would like to support me, I'm happy if you would subscribe to my channel and share it also with social networks that you are connected to. Thank you and bye bye.